Hi, my name is Dr. Deepak Garg. I'm an ophthalmologist. I'm practicing in Mumbai for the past 15 years. And today I'm going to bust some myths about eye care. Sitting close to the TV can damage your eyes to an extent, not to the extent that we imagine, however. So there are a few things that watching TV closer can do. The first is when we watch TV, we tend to blink very less, especially if we go closer to the TV. And this reduced blinking leads to dryness in the eyes and that will you know, cause redness or burning or itching. And the second thing is it causes eye strain because when we go close to the TV, we are trying to really focus or our eyes have to actually work harder to see the TV clearly. And this continuous working hard for the eyes causes an eye strain. So, you know, you may get headaches, you may feel fatigue. And um, these are the main reasons that we shouldn't really watch TV from very close. But I wouldn't say there is a significant long-term damage by watching TV closer than what we should. Is reading in dim light harmful for the eyes? This is somewhat like the previous answer for watching television closer. So when we read in dim light, we have to again strain our eyes a little more to see the text clearly. Now, continuous straining is like lifting a heavy weight and then holding it high up. It, you finally get tired. Uh, so, reading a book in dim light is going to cause you eye strain, which is going to lead to fatigue, which is going to lead to maybe headaches, and that would be the only real damage that reading in dim light could cause. Screen time can impact your vision. This is obviously a super pertinent question, considering the times that we are living in now. So, screen meaning we are looking at a computer, a laptop, or a mobile phone and all of these gadgets are held near the face. So when we hold these gadgets near the face, our eyes are straining to see the text clearly. This continuous strain, what it does is, it increases the risk of you developing a minus number or myopia. So especially for children, if they are spending a lot of time on the screen, they are increasing the risk of getting glasses. So yes, a lot of screen time will impact your eyes. This is actually a very common question we get asked and uh, parents worry that if children wear the eyeglasses, they will become dependent on them. Somebody wears eyeglasses because they can't see clearly and they're wearing eyeglasses to see clearly. So a child or an adult may appear to be dependent on glasses but actually they're not dependent on glasses, they're only wearing them because they always want to see clearly. So to use the word dependency for the need to wear glasses or contact lenses, to my mind, is a wrong explanation. So when we wear sunglasses, what we are basically doing is reducing the amount of sunlight that can enter the eye. And thus we, you know, we don't see things as bright. But when we reduce the light entering the eye, what happens is that our pupils, which are, you know, these little holes in the eye, which allow the light to enter the eye, actually dilate. So the eye adjusts or adapts and dilates the pupils so that more light enters the eye. So what you have effectively done by wearing uncertified glasses or glasses that do not have UV protection is that you are allowing more UV light to enter the eye, which is going to harm your eyes. And thus it is critical to wear certified glasses only, I think more so in these times. Eye transplantation is one of the most successful transplants in the entire medical world. But what we have to understand is that we can't transplant the entire eye we can only transplant one part of the eye and that part is called the cornea. And the cornea is the front most layer of the eye. It's transparent and it is present in front of the colored part of the eye. So if you, if you can see my eyes, my eyes are brown in color. The cornea is present in front of the brown part. Uh, for those who wear contact lenses, it is that part of the eye on which you actually put the contact lens on. And that's the cornea and that's what we transplant.